So who's on the roster here? You're live, buddy. Oh, oh boy. Hello, everybody. I tricked you. Yeah, I, apparently. <laughs> I just pushed it before telling you. I was reading. Usually I give him a heads up, and I'm like, all right, I'm clicking live. Here we go. We're doing it now. All right. Look, it's a baby one and a big one. I know. Okay. There's a floating opulent one. Mm hmm So what what is this thing I'm looking at? They can see this too, right? Yeah. It should be. I hope so. Can you see this? Is it over my face? Is it ginormous? Yeah, that's good. They can see the uh, times, maybe. Mm -hmm. Where are the times? Times nine. are right here, 9 to 3. That is tomorrow, according to my calendar. Tomorrow. It's free, as you can see right here, to an open <laughs> to the public. Two annual. Second, even though it didn't have it last year. It's definitely the second annual. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, what is this? What is this tool swap thing that I'm staring at? I don't know how to describe it. You can try. It's like a woodworking show thing. Mm -hmm. There's a vendor area, and if someone has too many tools and they want to try and sell some of them, they can show up with a table mm -hmm. and set it up and try and sell their stuff. So, like, it's like a garage sale. Mm -hmm. Paired with like a uh, new stuff show because it's actual like demos purchase, and vendors there. Like, like if I want a brand new planer, they sell those. Maybe I don't know if Lindsay Nelson's showing up, but but they could. Yes, manufacturers or brands or whatever you want to call it will be there as well as just Joe Schmo trying to sell his sander. Right, but then also they're presenters. Like people can go and learn. There are some very great presenters. George, which is super nice. I like George. He's a good guy. He's presenting. He is. And he's been woodworking since the day I was born. Yeah, he's... 1986. <laughs> that's my birthday year. <laughs> and he... Oh, that's what you mean by the day you were born. Yeah. I thought you were reading on here. George says, I've been a woodworker since the day I was born. I came out of my mom's womb. I'm ready to go. Give me my hand plane. He's like, I had that chisel in my hand. They laid me in a bed of shavings. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Jesus, you know. So was, I was like, no way he said that. But by the same time, like, yeah, I could see him saying that. But maybe George did say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, the, when I was born. I get it. Eighty-six. I get it. Eighty-six. He's been woodworking as long as you've been alive. Mm -hmm. Which, anyway, there's this, there's other people there too. This is out George. on the website, and I left a link to it in the description so you can read the bios of the six presenters. Mm -hmm. Like this. Joe Schmo has the best sanders. He does. So I've heard. Oh, they're they're pretty good. They're very efficient. They're very premium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they're very nice, ergonomically designed, great sandpaper. Uh-huh. It's the best. Yep. Best. Best there is. All right. So what else do you want to tell us about? Yeah. You're going to be there, right? Oh, yeah. I am going to this thing because yeah. I won last time. You presented last time. This time, they didn't ask you back. I think that tells you something. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, I like that, that. Well, that was the first one to like, I don't know what this is a good idea or not. So mm -hmm. let's just have some random guy from the internet. And they realized it wasn't a good idea to have Come and talk about, <laughs> what I talk about, like milling more lumber or something said, like that? Yeah, because you had the Oh, how I got into it or something? You did milling your own lumber. Yeah, okay. So I did that presentation, which we know wasn't quite good enough. It's, it's no... It's George not George. Impressed. George has got a good presentation. I'm sure. Does it say what every person's talking about? I don't think it does. No, they don't have the schedule on there, but it's on okay. the website. All He's right. doing something on routers, I think. All right. Mm -hmm. I could have made, made that up. Hold him to I, it. I didn't look that closely. Oh my gosh, this guy Mark actually restored work at Frank Lloyd Wright's home. That's cool. Like, like I said, they got like real that's, people this time. <laughs> yeah, like that's impressive. That's He's been on this old house and the Frank Lloyd Wright special. Makes sense. And he has nine patents and woodworking tools. Mark, pretty cool. With a K. There's, I, I can't there's another Mark, too, right? There's like yeah, there's two, two marks. marks. Yeah. Both have na last names that I will butcher and feel sad about. Cause I'm Mark Laub? Laub, yeah. And the other one's Dunninsky. Yeah, I don't, I've only <laughs> seen it like written online. Mm -hmm. I always say it's Duginsky. There you go. But in any case. I've never heard anyone say it. You will when you tomorrow. If I get to go. Right, so what are you doing there? I don't know. Room? They have a table for me. So I, I'm, I'm thinking I will bring some stickers. I told you to bring some merch. I brought it last time, and I was in the parking lot, which is nice. I'm not bringing those totes inside. Yeah, I know, but I'm pretty sure we did promise the viewers of this show that we were going to bring, I should have wore it, my cozy 
sweaters that no one wants to buy. I know, you, you sold out of them almost. There's only three left. After that last plug, you're like, somebody please buy these. And then okay. some sympathy purchases came in. Yeah, well, they're going to be... Warm and cozy? Yeah, it'll be worth it for them. Anyway, so you're bringing those three. I am? I said that on here, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that'd be a good test. Be good to see who actually watches this. Actually, yes, because they you are show sizes. Up. I think I have one large and two extra larges. I or one large, next larger, and two extra larges. It's on his website. There are three total. Matt's going to bring them. And the first three people... I don't know what you're going to do. Are give them away? I mean, we've, we've only sold, actually sold like two of them. So. I know. So I guess you might as well I might as well give away the rest of them. So yeah, the first three people that are like, I watched this and I knew you were going to give it away for free. You can have it. And it's super cozy. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I'm giving away. I'm not taking any payments. That's also nice. I don't worry about that. Well, I thought you could bring other stuff too. Like your hats. So people can buy hats. So they're like 10 bucks or 25 Nobody bucks. buys anything oh, okay. at this thing. Okay. From me. Oh. I was like, they're like better. From me at least. <laughs> so. I was like last year, like, oh, bring some slabs. People buy slabs. No one's impulse buying slabs. Yeah, that's different. The price point's a little higher. I think I, I think I sold, no, I gave away like two shirts yeah. last time. I didn't sell any shirts. So I guess we're just leaning into, that's what I was, I was there to sell shirts. Didn't sell any, but I happened to give them away. Nice. Okay, what are we drinking? Where did we get this from? It's from Carter. Mm -hmm. Remember? I, do, I, I know that. Oh, you're at, there's like a setup thing? It was Yes. That's from my neighbor, Carter. And what is it? That's a thank you for cutting up my box elder tree mm -hmm. and uh, being cool. And being cool. You got it for being cool or he's cool, so he gave it to you? I mean, it was the first thing in my mind, but it's definitely the second thing for real. Yeah, he is cool. He's, he's way cooler than me. Yeah. A lot of people are cooler than me. So, this is St. Croix Vineyard, which actually is right by our house, and his house actually as well. He's closer to it. Who's it's, that? Yeah, he lives off 36. He, I don't think you know where he lives. I don't think I know where he lives. He lives by Sal's. Never mind. In my head, he lives off 36. He's a neighbor, so I don't think you understand how far away 36 is. It's to be considered a neighbor. Okay. Well. You've been to his house? That's his parents' house, not ours. Okay, I guess that's true. Hey, my love. We have a visitor. It's pancake. It's pancake. Here's an ice cream. Here's a little bit. And this is the chocolate lake. Here's Minnesota. And chocolate here's, lake. Here, here, here's the rest. And here's, here's our island. And, here, and, and the end over there is the river of Minnesota. We were having an ice cream sundae we today. We ice cream sundae. Thank you, my love. That's so sweet. Mommy. And you can watch, Eloise. Mommy. Mommy. Yeah. She's like, mm. Oh, that's okay. you say hi. Hi. I bet you everyone. your grandparents are watching. Look, you say hi. look over there. Mama. Up there. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Not the ceiling. Okay, Ellie, you're going to scoop the ice cream. You, you, you. Go ahead, Matt. Go get your ice cream. What's she doing? You say hi. Look right there. Look at the camera. Yeah. See the camera? You go, what's up? <laughs> You just open your mouth? Is it, are we at the dentist? <laughs> <laughs> Check my teeth. All right, you're like, I'm done with this game. I know, I tried to tell him. I was like, well, she can't eat it right now. He's like, no, ma'am. Oh, I guess I, this is it. just for me. Oh, thank you. I would eat it. All right, so what is this? Oh, yes, the wine. We're going to watch you open it, fancy open it. All right, what? You're going to fancy open it. Apparently not, because I'm, I'm having a day. Okay, so yeah, why don't you tell us who was over here today? Oh, wait, your, what happened? Your sister. Truth. Is here. Mm -hmm. What is she doing for you? She is now my article writer. You delegated it. That's right. <laughs> you're very good at delegating. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I'll write your articles. Right? Just kidding. Lauren will write your articles. I hired someone to do it for me, for you. That's called delegation. I delegated and no. But they're getting done. Yep. That's the important thing. Mm -hmm. I, got, I had someone comment or send me an email through my website saying that I should update my website more often. And you know what? He took that recommendation or what uh, feedback very seriously, and he hired Lauren to do that. <laughs> You're welcome. Because mm -hmm. I realize it's never going to get done if I just yeah. leave it up to myself. It's true. And I did start, and it was like very, um, I don't know, that's, the computer broke on me, and I got very sad. So Lauren is very good, and 
Oh no, the right audio channel is unplugged apparently. Ooh, ooh. My mic is off. Yes, it is. Oh, it is off. I'm using it too loud. Oh, how's that going? It's dead. It died. I got brand new batteries, <clears throat> so there are no more. Apparently, no, you didn't. No, I did. Then how is it dead already? They were in the thing. Maybe they were charging. They weren't charging. All right. No one can hear me. Don't, don't talk. Give me a second. Yeah, they're running upside down. You put them the wrong way. I can hear you. That ice cream's good. I made it. You made that? You like turned that whole ice cream? I made the kids make it. You had the kids make that ice cream? Yeah. There we go. It was amazing. Oh yeah, did we... I'm sorry? Still haven't even done the wine yet. I know. All right, so Lauren was here, so she is an employee. She hopefully will be a better employee than my mother and not quit I see. right away. We're on day two. Mm-hmm. Let's see how long it lasts. All right. So who else was here besides Lauren? Today? Yeah. We had the one and only Donovan of the Three Stooges. What do you mean of the Three Stooges? Here we were talking about like okay. last time. Okay. Hard to be silly together. Mm -hmm. That's right. So who is Donovan? Donovan is my buddy who's also our contractor for our house edition remodel thing. Mm-hmm. And it sounds like we're going to be doing that pretty soon. What are you looking at? Nothing. I'm harding stuff. So we're looking at doing that in two weeks. Yeah, so in two weeks. I'm going to dig a hole in the backyard. So the content on Matt's channel is going to be a little different for a while. It's going to be like home renovation a little bit. Everyone's dream. Why I'm digging a hole. Oh. <laughs> I was like, everyone's dream is to watch you renovate? I don't think so, but okay. No, definitely not. No. Okay. So, give me more info. Like, let's give some actual more. Feel free substance. to give some details. I mean, it's your thing. It's your life too. You were here. I know, but I understand it very differently. A lot of people like hearing you talk. No. They tell me that all the time. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't actually. No. <laughs> no. That's not right. Like, I don't think that happened. That's inaccurate. <laughs> inaccurate, right? Okay. So what's actually going to happen is. Renovations are hopefully going to start in about two to three weeks. And it's going to start by first digging a big old hole because we're going to be moving where our kitchen is now, kind of shifting it over to the room next to it. And then behind the kitchen, we're going to create a brand new room that we're going to call the sunroom. And so the first thing they're going to do is dig the foundation for the sunroom. And yep, we're doing a full basement. Full basement, yes. Under the addition. Which apparently <clears throat> he's, Matt has decided is my office. And Say I needed a new office. Fine, I'll take it. I mean, whatever. I actually said I wanted to share it, and he said he did not want to share it with me. <laughs> You're I loud. Like, I was like, why? We can be like, well, we're still, we're roomies now. His, my desk and his desk are like this. Yeah, but you like loud on the phone all the time. And I'm like, I'll be so sad without you. I'll be like lonely. And Matt's just like, no, I don't care. Remember when you like, used to go to work? I know. I mean, I'm sure I will again, but it is, it is weird. So, I mean, I don't know. So we'll have an office space because mm -hmm. we don't have one right now. We're in a hallway. I disagree. To Fine. me, I have an office space. I don't. I'm in a hallway. In her office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Yeah. So that's going to start. I'm really nervous. Slash now I'm actually kind of excited to... I was getting kind of discouraged about it, honestly. Because they were like showing us the plans and I just was not like into it. And I felt like... I don't know. I was like seeing other people on like social media and their like experience of renovating and rebuilding. And I felt like their thing was like, I don't know what it is, but different. And I was like, I just feel like ours just doesn't mesh. But now I feel a lot better because they put in like, here's where like we would put a little nook for breakfast food. And then here's where we put the couches and stuff in the sunroom. And then it felt like a lot more thoughtful and that they were listening to like my feedback. So, yeah, you have to go with like blank slate. Like, here's a room. I'm cool. not. That's nice. Yeah, to me, what I was like, in the room. I was like, okay, they made all these squares. It <laughs> costs a lot of money for these little square pictures. And I feel like I can't see what it's going to look like. And I'm very afraid I'm going to hate it when it's done. And it's going to be a very expensive experience. 
to not like the outcome. But now I feel a lot more. I think it helped today too because we got the first uh, elevations. Of yeah. It too, so you can actually see like not just the floor plan, mm -hmm. but actual like. I I know what elevations are. What? Elevation views. Okay. Yeah. The two D or whatever they call that. Yeah, just the like a face of the building or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that helps it visualize too. Yeah, it's true. I like this from Doug. Matt would get wood chips all over your side of the office. He opens the door all the time. And like right now this door is open and so is like the door to our house. And so there's always like kind of crap coming in. The basement is a little. Yeah, like wild animals. Yeah, wild, yeah, pancake. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. I like this. Watch out for those triangles. They were killers. Yeah. It's true. It is. <laughs> but I'm feeling a lot more hopeful and feeling like, oh my gosh, now that I kind of see where they put little pictures and saying like, here's where your pantry would be, here's where this stuff would be. You're I actually going to have a pantry. I can like visualize it more and say like, oh, I think I am going to be happy with the final product, which is our house. <laughs> the place in. I live. <laughs> where I'm going to live. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so bad at design and everyone else has really fancy houses, I feel like, and I don't. I mean... I don't know if you still will after this, but it'll be better. I know I'm worried I still won't be, but... Um, <laughs> from Gary, how long are you going to be without a kitchen? I guess you eat out a lot. That'd be a good idea. Uh -uh. We will be zero days, hopefully, without a kitchen. We will have a kitchen. I don't like eating out. Um, I mean, obviously, like, getting pizza and stuff, but as a general rule, we eat, like, at least six dinners at home. Maybe, like, once a week we'll get, like, pizza. So we cook at home for most meals. Maybe we get more pizza. Like as a reward, you know? As a reward. But Good what job, they're doing is pizza. they're keeping our current kitchen 100% intact, making the new kitchen. And then once the new kitchen is fully functional, then remove the old one. Then rebuild, like getting rid of the other one. Yeah, so the current kitchen's in a different space than the future kitchen. Yeah. So they can be, it's parallel, I guess. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. There's also less rush. Yeah. But they get it done that way too because. It doesn't really interfere with anything. We're, we're losing our foyer. What are you doing? So I can see it still. Oh. Under the comment. Under the comment. Why don't yeah. you put it in front of the computer? Yeah. That makes more sense. There we go. All right. So you have some actual woodworking questions. Do you want to? Do I want to? Do you want to do, do I want those questions? Mm -hmm. First. Where is it? Here we go. Stuck. From Artsy. I'm making a record player ATM. At I the moment. That's what I was going to say. I think it doesn't mean ATM. Some, like yeah, I know. automatic transfer money. That's not what <laughs> I was thinking either. Okay. Any tips on making figured grain pop? Oil. Oil-based finishes. So like what is an oil-based finish? Anything that cleans up with not water. I mean, which one do you use? Do you use oil-based finish? Yes. So armor sale. <laughs> Yes? Yeah. I want to make sure. Yeah. Any like oil scent to really help pop the grain a lot more. Okay. Uh, any kind of more penetrative, pe penetrative oil based finishes. Mm -hmm. So, like lacquer, not so much because it doesn't really penetrate that much. But if you really want to get like a deep, rich figure, something like a uh, polyurethane or even just starting with like a boiled linseed oil or Danish oil or something like that mm -hmm. to get in there and pop things will help. There you go. Um, oh, is it cold in your shop that you both need lawn sleeves? It's autumn. It is. No, well, not yet. In Minnesota. But it does start. Summer's like, like two months. Yeah. It, yeah. It's probably like 70 in here. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm used to summer weather now. It's the 70s cold. <laughs> All right. So another record player question. So what about a fourth sawn white oak or curly... Oh, maple for a record player. How big is it going to be? That's his response to that. I think that would also make it pop, right? A bigger. Wait, what? A bigger. So this is like the recommendation. So besides so use oil a different finish, kind of wood? Yeah, use a different wood or make it bigger. That has figure? Yeah. Like curly maple or a quarter sewn white oak. Those are pretty figured, yes. I mean, you got to start with figure to pop figure, I guess. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Figured wood first. Mm -hmm. You can't pop figure on non-figured wood. There you go. I haven't figured that one out yet. 
Hey, okay, from Daniel. Um, armor steel is super awesome, but watch the yellowing on lighter woods. Have you had that problem before? It's an oil-based finish, so it will yellow any it... lighter-based woods. Okay. Hmm, interesting. I feel like you've never talked about that. I have. To me. When I did the crib, because the crib has maple spindles. Okay. So the spindles are finished with a water-based polyurethane, mm -hmm. which doesn't yellow. Right. And then the rest of the thing is walnut, which doesn't look good, in my opinion, with regular water-based finishes. Because it loses it out on that amber hue okay. that gives it to it. Mm -hmm. So I had some... Somewhere. Yeah, here we go. It's walnut. With an oil. Mm -hmm. This is walnut with water-based. That's the same piece of wood. Yep. Like, it's same, like you just cut in half. Yep. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. That's crazy. Like that, and they're, that's a huge difference. So if you want to preserve that natural wood look, then you just use a water base. But if you want to give it the more traditional warm look, then you use a oil this? base. It's cherry. Oh, so it's different wood. Yeah. I, had, I think the rest of the samples are out in the barn. They that's, used to be under here. Okay. I, uh, I made these in a video like using water-based finish for the first time or something like that, where you get a bunch of samples, like white oak cherry and uh, walnut. I think the rest, of, yeah, the rest of them are on the barn. What is this? Oh, maybe it was ash. I think this one is uh, oil, maybe, something like that. But the walnut's is the most obvious. Well, yeah, because it's the same piece of wood. You're saying you just cut them in half. Yeah. And so they look like two different pieces of wood. Yeah, this is like natural. This is what it would be with like No finish, nothing. technically. It's the closest it to no finish, but it does have water-based finish on it. And that traditional oil, which actually gives it some color. The color that we want, like, that we want or like for walnut. Right, well, I mean, because looking at this, I go, that's walnut, that's not walnut, but that's not true. Same board. Right, because you're so used to seeing this as what walnut is. Yeah. They're on fine animals. I'm going to show them next week or something. Uh-oh. There you go. They also had like one with no finish, too. I don't know where that one went. Mm -hmm. I got all kinds of stuff in here. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. What else you got underneath there? Nothing exciting. A vacuum bag. A toaster oven. A toaster oven? What do you mean, a toaster oven? You know, for snacks. There's no toaster oven. It's literally under your feet. That's what this is? Why is there a toaster? For snacks. For, when did you buy this thing? It's for curing heat sensitive finishes or um, resins. Uh -huh. Okay. That makes more sense. Yeah. It's like it a, wasn't for eating. You don't use it for eating anymore. Mm, okay. That kind of thing. Right. Yes. Yeah, you know, for you know, hot pockets or pizza bagels or whatever you. All that fun stuff? Whatever you put in a toaster oven. There you go. I don't think we have one. No. I feel like that's more like a, like an office thing is to have like toaster ovens for you. You talk about the thing that you open and you slide it in and then close the door, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like an office thing, I think. I don't think a lot of, maybe some people's houses have it. I need a better office. Yeah, I guess you work at home. This is your office and you don't have it. That's on you. I have like a full oven. We had it at our office. Yeah. Pop-Tarts. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea. So weird. <laughs> He's snacking. Right? Okay. Snacking hard. So how is tree planting coming along? I don't know. I haven't planted any in a little while. Mm -hmm. I have been, I staked some out in the back with the tubes. Okay. Um, so those are back there. I have two white oaks and two walnuts that came up in the field. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the ones in the pots in the ground before winter or wait. What did most people say in your video? I feel like a lot of people had input on that. Two things. One, I don't remember <laughs> okay. what the proper way to do it was. Two, I don't know if I want to decide where they're going to go. Oh, yet. right. You don't want to like, commit saying this is your home now forever yeah. and right. ever, ever. Right. And I can't change my mind. I have, I have issues like you. actually making decisions I and committing. It doesn't sound like you at all. I feel like you always commit. On the trees. It's too permanent. <laughs> so everything else, you have no problem being like, let's do it. Like, let's re like do this house. No problem committing to that. But I guess because in your head, you can undo it. Yeah. I okay. can always change it. Yeah. Say, so, yeah, I don't know. What am I going to do? Well, you have we also, the other thing in the back of mind, too, is that we're going to put a road through the arboretum. 
So I'm like, okay, where, where exactly is the row going to lay out? So I don't plant a tree yeah. or I have to remove it later. Or you have to like do a swirl, something silly. Right. Or you're so like, oh that's, shoot. That's still going. So there's a lot of mm -hmm. moving things with this mm -hmm. property that we haven't quite figured out quite yet. So there's that too. Well, and also, it's a lot. I feel like doing have to be a little like purposeful and making sure they're spaced far enough away. Yeah, but at this so point we, we have so much room that it's not really like. How much do these trees get though? Big. I mean. We want to keep like twenty to thirty feet away from each other. Okay. So not too bad. But I mean, there's over two acres there. In the front. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And mm -hmm. so far it's three trees. So it's not like. There's room for like 50 more before you guys start worrying about, oh, is it getting a little too close? Right. Oh, so will a um, Bos... Well, now I can't think of how to say it. Bosnia? No. Bonsai. Bonsai. There you go. I was like, I know this word. <laughs> Garden be part of the remodel or formal entry into the Arboretum? We can put it up, up top by our bedroom. Oh, yeah. That was one of the things they actually... We got this new deck space. They suggested <laughs> to do because the sunroom the, is going to be underneath my bedroom, sort of. But, like, here's the window. And it's going to push out. So they're like, you could wow. use that. So... That's your room. There's here's your room. the bedroom. Your room's up here. Yep. This is the roof of the sunroom. Right. So they're like, if you want, we, right now there are windows here. Yeah, no one can see this. <laughs> So they're like, right now there are windows here. And they're like, if you want, you can walk out here. And I was like, ah, maybe I'm kind of on the fence on that. And they was like, well, also we can make this a green roof where you just like put grass Plant there. Stuff. And I was like, in my <laughs> yeah, head thinking. You throw some dirt on top of the roof and you're like, stuff grows. I was like, I have a hard enough time with 22 acres. I really don't need to add a roof to the things we need to weed. <laughs> and then also like mow and take care of. But People do it. I think it would look cool if it was well taken care of. It would too, yeah. I yeah. Like a, a cool little garden. Right. Kind of thing, like with mm -hmm. like a path. Right. And like plantings. Mm -hmm. That would be kind of cool. But right now I think we're on the fence of whether or not I actually do want to have it that you can walk out on it. And then they could put a railing and everything, which I think would be neat. I just really love how the bedroom is currently set up. And I kind of just don't want to touch it. I kind of, I kind of almost want to be like, Sure, why don't you put the roof that you need that you could eventually walk out on, but I'm not actually going to make it. That sounds like what we're going to do anyway. Usable. You know what I mean? Oh, pancake. That's the plan, I think. Mm -hmm. Kind of planning for the future mm. for that. Plus, I think it's going to look nicer anyway. That, oh, that product. Then normal then roof. Then black. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, question. What is the rarest wood you'd love to work with from David? I don't know. <laughs> it's, I mean, do you I, have like a must or would like to work with list? I haven't worked with many woods. You have or haven't? Haven't. There's many woods that I have not worked with. Right, but do you have one where you've seen someone make something and you're like, oh, that's super neat. I'd love to get my hands on that kind of wood and make X, Y, and Z. Nothing comes to mind. No? Not the zebra wood, the huge piece of wood we saw? I mean, it's cool, but like, I don't, I'm not going to make a whole piece of furniture out of zebra wood. But what if money was no no um, obstacle? I think it would look hideous. I meant in general, money is no obstacle. What would you want to work with? See, I don't know, because I don't know any of these weird exotic exotic woods that don't grow around here. Okay. So would you say your tree knowledge is not as extensive as one may think? Oh, it's very regional. Okay. Yeah, you drop me somewhere else, I'm like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Right. Like cottonwood. Have you worked with that? I feel like people ask that a lot about cottonwood. That must be very common elsewhere. It is. Like where, like in the south? I don't know. It's here. Bug. Oh, there is? The big one in our driveway. I, I don't know. You act like I memorize trees. I don't. Well, we talked about it <laughs> on this show. Oops. Guarantee it. I, I don't doubt you. So I don't know. I don't have any like weird wood lust. No. You'll just take things. what comes and you'll be happy to have it. That's typically how I work. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever tree happens to die, you'll take I'll it. I'll cut his body up and dry it out. <laughs> Sounds very like serial killer-y. I'm sure that's what the trees think of us. Yeah, actually, yeah. Cut up my it. friend, dried his body out. Oh, I like this from David. How many people are tagging you on the down tree post in Facebook right now? Like 800 people. So what happened yesterday? Huh? 
Isn't the reason because we just had the big storm? Yeah. Okay, then why is everyone tagging you? Because there was some video on, um, I think it was probably on, probably was probably on TikTok or on Instagram Reels or something that reposted everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's some like woman driving past some house where this big tree that's like log is laying in this front yard with a free sign on it. Mm -hmm. And she's like freaking out because it's so big. And it's free. I'm like, who's going to take this thing? It's as big as the house. And then who does? Isn't the video then someone takes it or no? No. Where's this tree at? I found out through as many people who sent it to me. It's in Verona. Like Wisconsin? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know where that is. Well, yeah. I mean, so do I. <laughs> Why do you know where it is? Why know where Verona is? Yeah. Because I've been to Madison. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> 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 so it's down there. Well, that's pretty exciting. <laughs> you could go down there and make a video and, with a lady and say, like, hey, lady. I'm pretty sure it was just some random person that happened to be driving by at the time. Yeah, but she made a TikTok about it. You can find her. Hey, you want to collab? Yeah, maybe she does. I don't want to drive all the way down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. There was someone who did say something about a collab only if I had it. Mm. Do you want to... Are you ever planning on building a belt guard? For the sawmill, wood and metal wants to do a collab. Is that something you're is even like on your to-do list or no? There's a lot of things on the sawmill to-do list, and it's, that's as you see, it hasn't happened in five years. But that's one of them. It's, what, in, it's in the plans. What is a belt guard? Is that making it safer so ours is less safe than everyone else's? If they put a belt guard on theirs. So the answer is yes. We have the unsafe version. Yeah, but I don't walk over there when it's running. We have children. They don't walk away when it's running either. Yeah. So someday, you just got to figure out when you're going to do it, huh? I mean, I got to put an addition on a house. <laughs> and then? <laughs> I got a bridge port back together. All right. Mm -hmm. And I got logs that got to get sawn. Yep. So there's that too. I got to finish the Serpentine Chess series. Mm -hmm. So there's a few things in the, in the works here. Just still, a couple. That mm -hmm. seem to still continually take priority over putting a bell guard on a saw. But... You should eventually will be doing it. There's many things I eventually will be doing. Oh, this is nice from Roma Woodworking. First time driving into the Rockies, drove from Franklin, Wisconsin to Vail, California, of oh, California, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Very beautiful views. They rival Northern Wisconsin, Minnesota. The scenery is unbelievable. I've never been to Vail, but I hear it's pretty gorgeous. You that, don't take me places. That's my fault. Yes. I hold Matt back and don't let I'm him I'm a kept go. man. Can I say? <laughs> you actually been to Colorado. That's where Mark lives. How far is it from Vail? You could have gone. I don't even know where Vail is. I don't know where Vail is either. I mean, I was in Colorado. Is it in the mountains? It's probably in the mountains, isn't it? Yeah, because the people ski there. Like, that's the thing. I don't know. I've only been to Denver. Mm -hmm. And the airport, real nice. Mark's house. Real nice airport. That airport, real fine. I know. I spent a few minutes there. <laughs> and I went to Mark's house. How was it? Real good. I mean, it's all right. So Doug is a little aggressive, but you know. Doug looks so cute. Doug will know. like eat your whole hand off. <gasps> yeah, that's right, Pancake. <laughs> Pancake you like... protect me. <laughs> <laughs> Doug is like, he thinks like he's like Pancake size. I'll play with you like I'm Pancake size. Right. And I'm also like three times as big as she is. Mm -hmm. But I still, pre I still I pretend like I'm that big. Right. Yeah. He's got some like weight to throw around. Mm -hmm. It gets serious quickly, and he escalates like immediately. Right. It's like, oh, we're playing. Let's play as rough as possible. Well, I'm in. I'm all in. Yeah. Oh, these bugs are driving me crazy today. There's so many. <laughs> oh, this is the actual question for me from David Lindsay. Are you enjoying the shorter commute? Assuming you don't work from home every day. <laughs> actually, do work from home every day, which is still a sh shorter commute. <laughs> but yeah, actually. On the times where I do have to go into the office to like sign something, it's so nice. It's 10-ish minutes and... So like I do the commute now. I drive Jared and Max to school. Yeah, Matt has to commute, yeah. That's the commute. <laughs> yeah. But it is like kind of wild thinking this is like an hour community. This is where we live. We take JR to... Um, he's in a play and so we have to take him to rehearsal every day from 6 to 9. It's a lot. Yeah, every day. <laughs> every day is not an exaggeration. He has 10 days straight of rehearsal, one day off, and then another nine days straight. Like, it's, they're not fooling around. 
And it's just weird being like, oh, this is where our grocery store is now. This is where, I don't know. These are the roads now we're going to like drive around versus we used to be on the whole other side of the metro and that was like our drive around area. So, yeah. yeah. It is nice to... We got our neighbor thing tomorrow. We got our first little block yeah. party. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes. So we're going to actually maybe meet our neighbors. More of them, I guess. They... We met some of them. Yeah. They invited some neighbors down that we actually haven't met yet put something in our mailbox that said like meet something like maybe they knocked on the mailbox over maybe our mailbox did fall over <laughs> <laughs> but they said like hey we're having like a neighbor get together come tomorrow and we'll you know everyone bring a dish to pass and we'll like grill out and i was like heck yeah i'm really excited i hope like a lot of people come because i want to meet them and say like you live in this house where do you live we have a telehammer let's be friends <laughs> yeah Come see my tail handler. I'm like, why can't come hang out on my like patio and look at birds? Like a bird. <laughs> like an old person? Feed some birds. Yeah. Oh man. I like this from Dan. Pancake must know you said that. She's never made a noise like that during happy hour. Yeah, she knew. She got like like yeah, defensive. Mm -hmm. She's been a little off lately though. I'm kind of worried about her. She just went to the vet though. So she She's getting old. I don't like it. She's at that point in her life. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's eight. She's eight. Thank you. <laughs> Nobody knows these things. You're right. You are right. All right. What else do you want to tell us? It's like a dog now. What else is there to talk about? We want oh, I like this from Matt. You should drive the telehander to the event. That's the way to make an entrance. <laughs> I mean, I'd be closer than driving to Carter's at one time. Yeah, Matt has, that took me forever. He's driven the telehander around like the neighborhood. That's all like you know you're in the country. Mm -hmm. You take your machines on the road. Yep. To go to your neighbor's house. 1.3 miles in a telehandler. Well, I figured out why you took it, because I had the car and I had no car. Yeah, because I had That's the car. That's how. It's either walk, lawnmower, skid steer, <laughs> telehandler. <laughs> I went telehandler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. What's funny is he came home around the same time I came home. So I'm like driving all the time. I see his telehandler down. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's Matt. <laughs> yep. Silly, silly Matt. The, you know, the best part is, though, hmm. no nobody gave me any looks. Why would they? That's the best part. That's how I know. I'm like, these are my people. Yeah, they're like, cool. Hi. They're like, oh, they just drove around me. Oh, he's going slow. Okay, cool, whatever. Yeah. Not like, what the hell is this guy doing? Or like honk or be like, what are you doing on the road, buddy? Yeah, no. This, they're like, cool. Hi. I mean, people drive four wheelers all around. I mean, obviously Carter came with his four, uh, his uh, golf cart, golf cart, which then Max proceeded to crash it's into in my car. car. Yeah, um, break your bumper. He broke off their bumper and yours. Oh, it did. You fixed it already. Just... Well, I mean, it's got the clips. Oh. It came unclipped. Poor Max, though. It like went right... so he fell, and when he fell, he like pushed on the like accelerator, and then accelerated forward, and he hit like the steering wheel on his neck. Oh. It looked... It's a little ragdoll situation. Yeah, I feel bad. He did get beat up quite a bit, but he was fine. I like this from Syl, or Sile. Finally made it live. Hi, guys. Hello. Mm -hmm. You made it. You made it. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm mad stuck. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, so tomorrow, very full day. Oh, tomorrow's going to be, like, nuts, because I, I got that, mm -hmm. which I'm supposed to be, like, I assume the whole time. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. Right. And I'm come back here. Does Jared have rehearsal? It's during the day, right? Mm -hmm. Jared has rehearsal again. Until when? Four or five? Five. And then we're going to the block party. Yeah, that's going to be wild. Mm -hmm. So it'll be, a, it'll be a full day. And I don't know what we're doing Sunday. I don't know. Probably working. I like this from Ed. We usually have to watch out for Barbie cars running into the <laughs> girls at our block party. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I know, poor buddy. He did get a little bit of a. It was pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. From another know. map. You've already listed off like four major projects that need to happen for you. But any chance we get to see that huge bandsaw restored in 2022? No. Which zero, more, zero huge chance. Bandsaw? Zero chance, Matt. Is it yours? The one at the warehouse. Oh my god! I forgot you had that thing. Yeah. <laughs> when is so 2022 is that's not even a thing that's not no no definitely not no <laughs> oh my gosh that's not something that's happening mm -hmm. any like like literally anytime soon are you thinking like 2023 is like a winning unlikely oh my goodness that's just gonna live there for a while yeah I don't, well we'll see so 
in order for me to restore it, I have to do it at the warehouse. Why is that? Because it's too tall to go anywhere else. Oh, is it taller than the it ceiling? It is taller than the ceiling in here. Okay. Um, so for me to do that, I have to pay for electricity to be installed there. Oh my gosh, we're not doing that. So I'm not doing it. So when are you going to restore it? Like you can do it outside though. Here? I'll, what, leave it outside? I don't know. Can't you like tarp it? I mean, yes, but I don't feel like I want to restore a whole saw and then just tarp it. Can you put in the barn? No, I can't. Why? It's too tall. The downstairs barn? How many times? It's too tall. No, I don't believe it's too tall in the barn. It's too tall. Horses live in barns. They're tall. This is nine feet tall. I will go out there with a tape measure. <laughs> okay. Good luck getting in the door. It's not that wide. It's nine feet tall. Tall, but not wide. I could lay it down and put it in. And I gotta have to somehow stand it back up in there. Which sounds terrible. It sounds like a great video. It's not. I will put the belt guard on before I do that. Mm -hmm. We'll okay. see. We'll see if that holds. Yeah. Plus, I still have a bridge port to finish restoring. So there's right. priority list of things. But it looks cool though. But not only do you now have Lauren as your new employee. Oh, she's sticking around? I mean, maybe. <laughs> she's related to me and my mother. So she's so going to delegate it. She's going to delegate it to the next person. Well, if she's me, she'll delegate it. If she's like my mom, she'll quit. <laughs> so God, I hope she delegates it to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> to my mom. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But no, um, you hired a new editor, right? Almost? Tentatively. Tentatively? So that's exciting. He's, he's auditioning. He's auditioning. Next week. <laughs> that's going to be exciting. You want to call it that. Mm -hmm. So he's a, a former film mm -hmm. person. So he's worked in like the actual production space mm -hmm. for a while. Right. So he's like, professional he's like i can edit this so in my like, sleep. like this is some dumbed down stuff that we're doing over here on youtube yeah so there's there's that uh so we're gonna start out with doing a little editing he's gonna up your game he's like come on man well we talked about this and like you know you can kind of start out just replicating what i'm doing but i'm all for you doing more and making the product even better right so we'll we'll kind of see where that where the direction goes but he's come he doesn't live here right now but he is taking a trip up next uh, Tuesday, and then he'll be here on Wednesday for some shooting. So we're going to shoot some videos together. Stu understands what the shooting process is like mm -hmm. to make the editing a little more easy for him. And so we can actually meet face to face and spend some time together. I already like him because he watches this and he listened and like took it to heart. A while back, I said, if Matt's ever not emailed you back, email me. <laughs> And I'll respond to you, and I'll make him that is, answer it. That's the best uh, advice you've ever given, and, which is also true. Because it's very true. And so he emailed me, and he said, I, I watched this live, and you said, <laughs> if he doesn't respond to me, email you. And that's exactly what happened. I said, okay, well, he's right behind me now. So it did take me, a, I had to bug him a couple times, to be honest. But he got back to me, this one. Oh. I'm like in person with him, and I still, he'll be like, yeah, yeah, I'll respond. I'll let you know in a second. I'm in the middle of something. I was. So I'm saying, so anyone who he hasn't responded to and you want to really answer your question, you can email me. Or just try again. Or try again. That's fine too. Matt doesn't care. You can try again. Just bump it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just like your hairdo. Mm -hmm. oh. I'll Actually, bump it. Oh my gosh. Those, yeah. I wanted them. I'm a child of the 90s. <laughs> Are you? Well, I mean, I'm, I grew up in the 90s. I'm not a child of the 90s. Yes. My childhood was in the 90s though. Is that, is that how it works? How what works? Child of the? Of that? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like yours worked. So I was born in the 80s, so technically I'm a child of the 80s, but like my childhood was the 90s. You were, I, you're 87. I don't have any memories of the 80s. All of my, like, forming things happened in the 90s. Your formative years. All the cultural things. I would say you're a child of the 90s. I would say I'm a child of the 90s. I'm just saying, like, nomenclature-wise. Like, Very mad of you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think must be deeply. accurate or it doesn't count <laughs> <laughs> so of this year what is the next thing we should expect from your channel what do you mean the future of your channel so it's 2021 is already september somehow in the middle what are we going to see october november december you're going to see six serpentine chess videos okay probably rolling out in two weeks yep uh in a week you'll probably see two videos on my dust collector uh -huh. finally right 
that's been on the to-do list for a while. Mm -hmm. You'll probably also see a video on surfacing some workbench slabs and shipping them out mm -hmm. because I, I shot a video of that too. Yep. We're going to start seeing uh, some more solemn videos come out. Oh, what time was Eric here last week? That's why we didn't do the show. Yeah, that's right. We cut up the biggest sugar maple ever in uh, the state of New York last Friday. They were nice here. They were very nice. There's multiple people here, not just Eric. I had a whole day of it. It's a whole like party. Yeah, for Matt. It we was had a just party like, of it. basically like deer camp, but like wood camp for boys. It was. Like Matt, he was very happy. Mm -hmm. So we did that. So I got a video on that coming out. Yep. That might be a good uh, editing project for a certain somebody. <laughs> I don't want to edit it. <laughs> oh, I love it. So we did that. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be coming up. And then uh, next week I'll be shooting some more sawmill stuff. Because I got a big pile of logs I got to cut up too. So I'm trying to cram as much like content making that is not house related into the next two weeks. Okay. Because like, after that, all I'm going to be doing is that. And by content making, you mean like finalize it. You aren't going to publish them all at the same time. Correct. You'll first it out, so from September, well, it's fair enough, to December, you're still going to get woodworking stuff and also house stuff. So if you don't care about the house stuff, don't worry. But eventually, too bad. To eventually, you're going to love it. It's going to make you love it. Well, I, mean, I think some of the more exciting, like this stuff, like, I don't yeah. know how much that's going to appeal to everybody, but when we get to like the finishing stuff, when we're doing the cabinets and doing the trim. That's woodworking. And the flooring, I think that's going to be a little more... Because it's making our own cabinets. Because I guess, uh, besides the cabinetry, I've done everything else on the channel before. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I've made a floor before. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it the same way ever again, though, but I've made a floor before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. All right, it's my time to go up. Oh, but also from art. And we'll see Wood, wood Shop Happy Hour every Friday. We'll see. We'll see what we're doing. We'll, we'll see how the scheduling goes with this. Because we are dealing with other people. Well, mostly Donovan. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. All right, I'm going to head up from Carter. Shop happy hour is such a great time killer. Bottling honey right now. Need any. <laughs> I actually just used your honey need more eggs? yesterday to um, for our dinner. It was like, because I made um, oh, garlic the, honey. The thing you thought I wouldn't like. Well, I didn't think Matt would like it, but he did like it. And it wasn't because the honey I didn't think you wouldn't like it. It's just you don't like sweet stuff. it. <laughs> <laughs> we are really low. I have like five eggs left. It's... I should be ashamed of how many eggs we eat. Well, we know when the neighbor brings them over. I know. Oh, and they're so good. All right. You know, I bet Carter knocked her mailbox over. Oh, my God. Carter? Trying to put eggs in it. Carter, you did he it. He probably I put know. too many eggs in our mailbox and, like, three balls of syrup, uh -huh. like, too much for it. And we're drinking the wine he gave us right now. He's too good to us. Okay, do you have any questions for me, or is that is that it? Nothing? Don't even say anything to me? Okay, I guess that's it then. I guess. <laughs> All right then. Here you go, get off my lawn. I like this. With chainsaws, you can make any doll door tall enough. Well, yeah, just take the roof off and we can just airlift the thing right in there. That's all right. Ooh, that sounds good too. All right, I am. I'm gonna head in, I guess. Yeah, that's about it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I never know how to like end these things, but uh, I hope everyone had a fantastic week and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. If you are going, where's that thing? If you're going to this, oops, I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll see you next week when I see you. So, goodbye, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy your time doing whatever you do.